What's up you guys? Today we're going to talk about how to stake BTTT on Binance. We're going to cover some new Poloniex news and how Tesla has appeared in BTFS, BitTorrent file sharing, and what I think about that. Now, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, you're very, very smart. If you're new and you don't wanna miss out on insights that could potentially make you money in the crypto sphere, not investment advice, just my opinion, hit the bell, the like, and subscribe, and let's go. We'll cover some news before I get into the nitty gritty of the topics that I just mentioned in the video. First off, we got Paxful Partners with Miami Mayor to give away 500 tickets to Bitcoin 2022 conference. Class action suit against Coinbase alleges unregulated securities sale. We've got Bitcoin faces new milestone in 2022. As a new forecast predicts BTC price in the millions. Well, that's bound to happen. I don't think it's gonna to happen tomorrow. I do still think that we're gonna see 100K north of 100k or just at by the end of this first quarter i think there's going to be a big btc short squeeze we got apecoin announcement surges the bay c floor nice to near ath before correction we got x h v rune wreck here has how you can be tipped off to the week's winners before they post strong gains let's go up here now and see what else is happening we'll do a little quick refresh and see what's up here Of course, I have to hit enter, would help. One million rock NFT sells for a penny in all or nothing error. Interesting, interesting. Bitcoin holds 40K as on balance volume, hints at multi-month BTC price prediction. Miners that hodl the most Bitcoin are relentlessly expanding. Australian competition regulator takes meta to court over the fake crypto ads. Let's see what they're talking about here. The ACCC highlighted unapproved or endorsed scam ads featuring prominent Australian features, figures such as entrepreneur Dick Smith, TV host David Koch, and former NSW Premier Mike Baird in particular. Hmm. The Australian Competition and Consumer Commission, ACCC, is making Meta Platforms, Inc., formerly Facebook, to the federal court alleging that the firm and its Irish branch engaged in false, misleading, or deceptive conduct by publishing scam celebrity crypto ads. Some users have lost hundreds of thousands of dollars at the sophisticated, long-running scams tied to the ad. Why don't they just use Cameo? It seems like any celebrity can basically will make a commercial for anything. I don't remember offhand the exact specific ones that I'm talking about, but I have seen some wild... Um, endorsements, if you will, someone just paying a small fee on that Cameo app, I think it's a few hundred dollars, and then having a, a celebrity plug them without the celebrity, it seems, doing any research. Again, they're not all like this, but I've seen some shocking things. Uh, one of the co-founders of, of Apple was doing it for a particular company that's going to remain nameless that really surprised me quite a bit. But anyhow, so let's get into what I started the video with. So let's talk about the Poloniex news first. We got Poloniex announcing a collaboration with Phantom Foundation to boost its ecosystem development. Soon I'm going to get into uh, how to stake the, uh, the BitTorrent, the BTT on Binance. And we're going to cover, as I said before, how Tesla appears in the BitTorrent file sharing and what's going on with that with a, a seemingly hidden little NFT. So Poloniex announces collaboration with Phantom. We got Poloniex, a global exchange. We know it's a global exchange. Poloniex will pour more resources into quality projects that are built on Phantom, which includes providing listing and promotion support, hosting exclusive campaigns, and sharing technical knowledge. We are honored to team up with Phantom and to wish to help more develop. We wish to help more developers realize their potential. Okay, fine. So this is the financial post, and as you see. The branding continues, right? More and more big names talking about um, BitTorrent related things, Justin Sun related things, in this case, Poloniex, um, NASDAQ the other week. It goes on and on and on. And wait until you see the, uh, and of course, Binance and being able to um, do what you need to do with BTT, which I'm going to go to next right now in about 15 seconds. And then I'm going to get into Tesla and the NFT and how it appears in the BTFS, the BitTorrent file sharing. So let's go and also, yeah, before I forget, one of the winners for the hackathon was Versic Brick Squad project by Turu Global was chosen as the winner. And this protocol brings non-fungible tokens to the real estate market. Very lucrative, obviously. Uh, let's go and take a look here. Where are we? Where do I want to be for you guys? 
Yes, let's talk about how to stake BTTC on Binance. So step one, go to Binance, obviously. Click Earn and select the Staking button. Step two, select BTTC Asset and click Stake Now. Step three, select the duration and enter the amount of BTTC you want to stake, then click Confirm. The longer you stake, the higher the API is going to be, obviously. Step four, click Staking History to confirm whether BTTC has been staked successfully. And then they give you a little bit of background in case you're here reading about this and have no idea what BitTorrent is, which I don't know why you'd be reading about this if you had no idea, but I guess they need some filler for the article. So now let's go to Mainnet founding validators will receive rare meter Tesla NFTs. As a token of our appreciation, the top 100 ranked mainnet validators will receive meter founding validator Nikola Tesla NFTs. This NFT could be used as an acceleration card for future liquidity mining programs on meter products. To determine who receives the NFTs, we will take snapshots during the two weeks starting from March 25th. The validators have to maintain a healthy state, not jailed, and ranked in the top 100 nodes. So check this out. Announcing Meter's fully featured Tesla mainnet release. With the launch of staking and on-chain auctions, the Meter mainnet now has full functionality. We're excited to announce that Meter's full featured mainnet named Tesla has just been released. After successfully completing the final round of the Warring Stakes testnet for three weeks with 528 community validators, we've finally reached this important milestone. The new release has been deployed to the mainnet on March 19, 2021 at 1am and the UTC and staking will start at the first epoch of, uh, after block height. You can see it there, roughly Monday, March 22nd. The first on-chain MTRG auction will start on the 20. Fourth. So that's in a few days from today as I um, tape this and I believe that just want to go and just see BitTorrent file system BTFS mainnet Newton is now live. BitTorrent file system BTFS is a next generation file sharing protocol in the BitTorrent ecosystem. The BTFS team has already released BTFS v2.1.0 mainnet Newton. And if you scroll down here and you just read a little bit more about it, you're going to see that there's some some surprising branding being used in order to get some attention, which continues the momentum which has been happening, which is very simply that there's a lot of big brands being put together, mentioned for some sizzle with BitTorrent. As always, I hope this finds you healthy, happy, and I will see you on the next video.